Hi everyone, it's Michelle. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be showing you my sneaker collection. I am not a sneakerhead whatsoever. I don't really know much about shoes. So for this video, I'm gonna start off, I'm gonna be going by brands. So the first brand I'm gonna start off is Nike. This first shoe is the white all white Nike Air Force Ones. You guys probably know this already. All you guys probably have it as well. But yeah, these are like the basic go-to shoes. These next pair of shoes are also all white as well. They're just these Nike slip-on shoes like this. They have like the Nike logo right here. And I'm so sad because I cannot find these anymore. And as you can see, I have I got them so dirty. So the next pair of shoes I'm gonna show are very, very similar to the ones that you just seen just because I wanted like a cleaner version but I couldn't find the exact ones so these ones are similar enough uh, they're like all white slip ones as well but they have like the black check mark like this these are a custom pair on the Nike website and my brother got me these for Christmas so yeah and the next pair of shoes are also an all white pair of shoes I love my white shoes these are the Vapor Max Fly Knit these are so dirty now I wear these so much because they're easy to wear, they're comfortable, and they look nice. The only thing about these is that they're really expensive. And the next pair of shoes are these ones right here. They're the Nike EXPX 14s. And these ones are more for comfort slash like working out compared to the other ones which are more for style. If you want a comfortable shoe, I definitely recommend these ones right here. The next pair of shoes are these Air Max 270s. They're in like a beige, white, and black colorway. A lot of people have these shoes in black and white or white and black. I decided to grab the beige pair since I really like this colorway. These are very comfortable since they have like the, the bubble. And if you do get these, I recommend sizing like up half size or even a full size because they do fit slim. The next pair of shoes are these ones right here. They're the Vapor Max Utilities. And the cool thing about these is that it's waterproof. That's why I got these for the winter time because I don't really want to wear boots all the time. So I decided to get these. The shield on the outside is like waterproof so you can walk into snow in it. So the next shoe are the Vapor Max Plus and it's in this like olive colorway like this. I'm a big fan of Vapor Maxes, but the only thing about these is that um, they make your feet look very bulky and big compared to like the Vapor Max fly knits, which hug your foot. So that's why I don't wear these ones as much. The next pair of shoes are one of my favorite style of shoes that Nike has come out. They're just these Air Max Plus, the TNs, and this one is the silver bullet colorway with the gray and the red check mark like that. And I wore these a ton. These were my first pair of the Air Max Plus. They give like a vintage like vibe to it. But with these shoes, they're like people either love them or they hate them. And I'm one of those ones who love them. So I love the Air Max Plus so much, I decided to get another colorway. And these ones are black with the gold check mark. I really love the gold against the all black. These ones are more of like a basic colorway and easier to match. You thought I was done, but I'm not. I have another colorway. They're just these uh, like light teal colorway like this. It's all like one color with the white. And I thought they were so cute. Like the colorway just looks so much more girly. So the next pair of shoes I totally forgot I had. And they are so beat up. But they're just these all black Nike Roshis right here. They're in the all black colorway and as you could tell, they look so dusty. They're so dirty. I never wore them in so long. And the only downfall about these shoes is this top part right here. For those who have them, I don't know if you can relate to me, but I always end up tripping on this for some type of reason. The next pair of shoes are these ones right here. They're the Nike Zoom Gravities. They look like that. So if you look through, if you put like your foot through, it's kind of like a mesh detailing so you could see your sock. They're more of like a running shoe. The only thing I don't like about these is the back part, how it goes out so much. And I haven't got a chance to wear these yet because I got them before quarantine and I don't really work out. So yeah, I'm trying to find a place to wear these. 
The next pair of Nike shoes are these ones right here. They're in a light gray colorway with a white check mark. They are called the Epic Reacts and they are really, really comfortable. For these shoes, I do recommend going up a size or even half a size. They do run small. So the next few pair of shoes I'm going to show are Jordans. So the first one are these ones right here. They are called the Grey Toe Jordan 1 Lows. So I showed these ones in my previous haul, but they're just like a gray, black, and white colorway. The next pair of shoes are also Jordan 1 Lows. They're in the court purple colorway. They have, it's like a dark purple suede with white and black. One of my favorite colors is purple, so I decided to get these. The last pair of Jordan 1 Lows that I have are these ones right here. They're in the Royal Toe colorway, and I think these ones are my favorite Jordan 1 Lows, like the colorway. They're in a royal blue with white and black, and it's leather throughout. So my next few pair of shoes are gonna be the Jordan 1 highs. So the first pair of Jordan 1 highs I'm gonna show are these ones right here. They are so pretty, but they are just the crimson tint ones. And I recently got these. It was so hard to find my size for a good price when it's on resale, but I finally found them. They are like this kind of like a highlighter pink with black and white. These are one of my like top three wanted Jordan 1s, so I got them. The next pair of Jordan 1 highs that I have are these ones right here. They are the Satin Black Toe 1s, and these are so beautiful. I love the satin material. I love satin material in general, so when I knew that these ones were releasing, I had to get them. Yeah, these are also one of my most wanted uh, Jordan 1 highs as well, and I got them, so I'm so happy. And the last pair of Jordan 1 highs that I have are these ones right here. They are the Bread Toe 1s. They're red with like an off-white and black color. And yeah, I've worn these a ton. I really like the colorway. The next pair of shoes are a really old pair. They are the French Blue Sevens. They look like this. They're white with like baby blue and dark blue. I don't know why I got these. I don't really wear them at all. They're kind of just there. That's why they look so like clean. But in high school, I really wanted these. So I got them. So the next pair of shoes are a pretty old pair as well. They're really dirty because I wore them a lot. But they are the infrared sixes. You can tell like the bottom is so dirty because I haven't like I used I never took care of my shoes before. So I'm a really big fan of the infrared sixes. So I decided to get the black ones when they came out in 2018. I think these are my like number one wanted like Jordans that I want so I had them as well I had to get them in 2018 since I really like the black colorway one better than the white and yeah but the only thing is I barely wear these because I don't really know how to style them they look very like masculine so that's it for my Jordan shoes the next shoe I'm gonna show are these ones right here they are the Calm de Grisson I don't know if I'm saying that correct, but the CDG Converse's in the low top with the bunch of hearts. I like this one better than like the one heart. I don't know why, it just like is more different. So yeah, they're like a cream color with all these red hearts like that. And the thing about these Converse's is that they have like a cushion compared to like the regular Converse's, so it's actually more comfortable. So the next brand of shoes I'm going to show are Vans. And Vans are very like casual shoes and they're like on the cheaper side. So the first ones I'm gonna show, which a lot of people have, are the black and white old school Vans like this. They are like very dirty and beat up because I used to wear these so much. They are very easy to style and they match with everything. You can dress them up or dress them down. So yeah, I think these ones are worth the investment. I just don't wear them anymore because they're so dirty. The next pair of Vans are another pair of old school school Vans, but they're in like the dark charcoal colorway like that. I really like the color gray, 
So I decided to get these ones here and these ones are newer because I don't wear them as much as like I did with the black ones. And the last pair of Vans that I have are a very basic pair as well. A lot of people have them. They're the black and white slip-ons and these ones are so dirty as well. Vans are really easy to like wear so that's why I have these ones as well. And the final brand I'm gonna show you guys are my Adidas shoes. So in terms of Adidas shoes, I don't have as many as... I do in Nike shoes. I like the Nike brand a lot better, but I do have a few Adidas pieces I'm gonna show you guys and the first one are these ones right here These are the Adidas Ultra Boost in like a pink and white colorway I don't wear much of my Adidas shoes anymore just because a lot of my clothing pieces have like Nike on it And I don't want to cross brand but these ones are really comfortable so if you are looking for like a good comfort shoe i think these ones are really good the next pair of adidas shoes are just these ones right here they're a baby blue and white pair of sneakers these ones are a more like casual pair of shoes these ones are called the adidas campuses they have like a suede material here and then leather stripes like that. The next pair of Adidas shoes that I have were one of my favorite shoes before. They're the Adidas Swifts right here. This one is in the all white colorway. I love these shoes so much because they're so comfortable. I just don't wear these anymore because like I said before, I wear a lot of like Nike clothing pieces so it's kind of weird to cross brand. My next pair of Adidas shoes are these ones right here. I got them back when they are in trend. They are the Adidas NMDs and these are the black, white with blue colorway and I wore them so much. They're so dirty. And I used to like the NMD so much that I also got the baby pink and white colorway. I don't know if it looks all white or not, but yeah, I thought this colorway was so cute so I decided to get them as well. The only thing about these shoes is that it's not that comfortable they're good for if you have wide feet to be honest if you're looking for comfort i recommend the ultra boost but if you're looking for something more stylish i recommend the nmds and that is it for my video i have a huge mess on the ground i had to clean right after this it took me a while to take everything and now it's gonna take me a while to put everything back but it's fine i did it for you guys so I hope you guys liked it. But if you stay till the end, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed my shoe collection. Bye.